Welcome to Empowered, a ministry of the SBC of Virginia. I must admit it, I'm an American Idol fan. And if I can't watch it live, I DVR it and I play it back. I'm not sure if it's the competition that attracts me to it or some really good talent. I'm not really sure what it is, but I am hooked. I'm a little puzzled by the name of the show, however, American Idol. When I look up idol, what does that mean? The dictionary defines it in several ways. First, it says an image used as an object of worship or a false god. Another definition is one that is adored, often blindly or excessively, something visible but without substance. So when Scotty McCrary won the contest last year, he became the latest American Idol. I guess there are a lot of country music fans, and especially young girls, who worshipped him. And in that case, he could have been considered a false god. That is, if they were worshipping him and not the Lord Jesus. Now, I'm pretty sure that Scotty would not be comfortable if people made him their god. Yes, he was at the very least adored, often blindly, and excessively. In Exodus 20, 2-4, we read, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Then in 1 John chapter 5, verses 20 and 21, And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding, that we may know Him who is true, and we are in Him who is true, in His Son Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. And then verse 21, little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. You see, your idol might not be the next best singer in America, but it could be your church. It could even be your children or your golf game, your money, your house, your car, your job, any person or thing that you would worship more than the living Christ. If I was Ryan Seacrest, he would say, America, after 30 million votes, Jesus you're safe. You are the one true God. There are no other gods or idols before you. By His Spirit, through His Word, may your ministry be empowered.